up high and chill on Yao. It's like they're going to commit to this. The clap goes over on Banana. He still got some available. The arrow flies out. It connects on Xiao Wei. He's just tanking up with a triple hit coming out from the Nyx Assassin. The Iron Shell's burning through a little bit of Xiao Wei's life points, but Lint over on the sidelines being battled down by both Hao as well as Mu. Wei forms still on cooldown. He's got also 10 mana short. They'll move over towards the side. Another triple stun. Banana is on an absolute spree right now. Wei form is about to come back up. But LGD, they lose two. To hit level six. One more creep to go down. He's got to be short. He's short by 14 points in experience. And he gets mana burn up and killed in the... And, uh, well, waveform out. Lin going to surge up. He tries to help by a blast, but, well... Life still jumped inside now. How cops an arrow. He's strength morphing himself up though. It's gonna be difficult to get the kill with that Nyx done. Try and buy some more space. Morphling does go on the sidelines. Moonlight should have protects LGD for now. No ravage. 26 seconds on cooldown. Moo comes back in again. Trying to kill the Wraith King again though. Is just the Ank ultimate. Sunshine will arrive here in the lane with the Brewmaster ulti. Okay, it's gonna wear off. Arrow connects with Nyx Assassin. Spike out was on cooldown. Rabbit jumps into a blink. Now it's LGD walking over Newbie. The buyback comes out from the Tide Hunter, but still no ravage available. Nine seconds on the sideline. Newbie we just lost their entire team and bought back on the Tide Hunter. And LGD, they Gallus lost Radio. Jack. The Jack all. You're, you're stunned, and Lin actually dies to the tower. Jump in, the arrows on Moo. He doesn't actually, or does he have buyback? Yeah, he does. He'll use it. The Nyx Assassin will die at the back lines, and Morphling's return to the engagement too. BKB from Lin is going to protect him. Morphling waveforms away, and Moo's back into the fight. Now, these Brulings, the Storm Bruling is brought down. Fire Bruling could be the next one. And the Earth Bruling is the one they'll come back into. The easy stun, arrow flies out. It keeps Xiao Wei out of this engagement. But Moo, he's just going after Lin. The Aeoli will finish the job, though, and that's why Lin, well, actually, he's going to shatter out here. He knows he's low enough. Back, back in. Where's your back hole? There it is! Over on two. Wraith King's gone down, but the Ravage will pop. The BKB is protecting the Enigma, but doesn't protect the Dark Seer who died. And DD, he's been beaten down. Anchor Smash continues, so Ravage's damage is very minimal. As how Wave forms up, they turn around. Ancient Apparition might be on the sideline, but Rabbit, Waveform in four seconds' time. No matter for a gush. They're chasing down the DDC. 15 seconds for him before he can Waveform away, uh, before he can leap away. Buy some space with that. As Brewmaster, okay. The Aegis Immortal is gone. Arrow's coming in. Dodged at the last moment. Gush from Xiao Wei, hiding in the tree lines. Doesn't have any extra mana, but Brewmaster has no jump out of here. They've got to keep that Blink Dagger on cooldown. Enigma will buy it back. He's TPing out to the tier 3 towers right now, but it's already too late. And DDC leaps down into the river and away. Banana, he's gonna jump in. Look for the stun. There's so many of them there. And there she gets hit. Now Moo will jump back out again. Now Enigma for the Nyx Assassin. Darkseer, a really good back wall right now. Live Seal's losing a lot of life points. He's having to armor toggle out. The arrow's coming down too. Xiao Wei still has Ravage. Now lets it rip. The Rabbit actually gets hawk caught by that with the Anchor Smash. They're losing all their damage. Morphling comes back in again. He played off cooldown in a moment, but he's actually using his hits. Yao has a strength morph up. He's battling man to man here against Rabbit, who's also got Nine Shell. While DDC is being chased down by Moo. Leaps up, anchor smash into the gush, jump in. He's searching for the right time to get that hit. The Enigma has come back into this engagement. And he's searching for the opening. Just the E-Blade shotgun being used again. So the Enigma's back down to half of his life points. And they keep trying to fight inside the anchor smash. Which means they keep losing their life points. Same thing. Now the trigger the, the linkets. Oh, they jump up! Help by a blast! They no, why are you hunting the Nyx Assassin? They're hunting the Nyx Assassin when Roshan goes to ravage and hits on two! The two guys with the BKB! And they'll never even trigger it off. DD, there's your black hole. Back, back in on three. With the wall as well. It's spectacular from LGD. It looked like it was absolutely horrendous. But now Morphling's going to come back up again. Yeah, you should be careful there. Manasar will pop. Waveform is available. The E-Blade is not, however. And he's trying to strength morph up. Not fast enough. Secondary Ravage. Too late from Xiao Wei. LGD. They just took a great fight. They let it go. They thought, actually, I thought when they were initiating on the Nyx Assassin that that was the worst fight LGD could take. The Actually, only one, sorry. That was still just a morphling. Ties it up and towards the end. Oh, no. So everyone's alive again. Oh, wow. This Brewmaster is going to go down. He's lost his Brewlings. He's actually dead. Brewmaster's down. <laughs> what the hell, hell happened to her? She came. She saw. Now, Rabbit's on the high ground, but the sentry was looking at him. Now, that's smoke, which is why he's not revealing. Sunshine, low on life, and they got him. So no AA ulti in this fight. The Ravage will pop. That's the first one from Xiao Wei. Drag him back. Now you're black hole. It's only got Xiao Wei. They can't attack him. The ghost have to catch him alive for now. AA's brought back into the game, and he got a good blast off on almost all of LG. Morphling has to waveform himself away. Moo jumps in too. He's low on life. He triggers off the cheese. Brings his side points back again. A stun out. It's from Banana with a spike.
opening a follow-up stump, but they've lost Moo and LGD. They're trying to breach inside the base. Morphling, he must wave back to actually heal up. Now, this is a counteract from LGD. The question is, can they still get more? Tide is not involved anymore on the sun. Oh, look at him they're coming in. Blink down. They're going to try and bring down the life stealer. Nyx Assassin back, back hitting against Fire Carapace. It's, it's not doing anything. The BKBs are protecting LGD for now, but it's not protecting the Mirana. She goes down straight away. And how? Sands is ground. Lin, 10 seconds for his ank. It was off. Well, it was on cooldown. Mu, he's still on the front lines. No black hole. The sun's on DD. And maybe this is the break. With a Ravage. Into the ultra. smash. There goes another kill. An ultra kill from how? He's Making the base solo. He's stunned up for a moment though, but way forth back down with the tier 3 tower. Remember, this is objective based gaming. They've got to bring down this tower. How he's looking for the opening. He's taken copy of the Tidehunter. Ravage is still available here for Chal Wait. And with no BK damage, and they still cannot battle up against a Ravage. And then he's dead. GG! The victors will be newbie. Not a single game is lost in their entire run here. A wonderful, wonderful tournament from the guys. They got invited directly in to the international. Some people may have questioned that decision, but question no more.